Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I, I genuinely do not remember this. This does not look familiar to me at all. I know I played this game. Oh, there we go. The classic goalie animation. I know that for sure. But none of this looks familiar. Even the load or the, the screen, press A to continue or whatever, the infamous screen, I don't remember it. And I know that the comment for this video says NHL 17, but I genuinely could not find it. I know I have it, but I don't know where it is. So I was, however, able to find NHL 16. Clearly. Yeah, this does not ring a bell whatsoever. I don't recall looking at this screen ever in my entire life. Wow, shutting down the servers. I see you, EA Sports. I'm assuming I would have played this game right up till when they released NHL 17, so I don't think I would have an out-of-date roster, but it doesn't really matter. The roster is pretty outdated anyway. Ew, look at these menus. I do still like this menu, though. I think that this looks very cool, very clean. Do they not have GM mode in this game? Am I missing something here? Or is it just season mode? Mode. Never mind, I found it. I was really panicking for a second there because, first of all, like a 4.5 gigabyte update on the Xbox. Obviously, I have a PlayStation 5 now, not using the Xbox One anymore. On top of that, there was apparently an NHL 16 update. I do somewhat remember this screen, but I have to randomize the team, obviously, so I know that you guys have no idea if I'm looking at the screen or not, but if you think I can time this to get a team I want, you're insane. So I'm gonna look away and I will be stopping in about three, two, one. Now, we get. <laughs> there, there's no way. There's absolutely, I, I know, I refuse. I refuse. I can't do that because I'll, I will 100% be called out on that. Okay, we're redoing it here. They don't have a randomized button, do they? No, they don't. Okay, looking away again. And I'll be stopping in three, two, one. Boom! We were actually kind of close again. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm sorry, Bruins fans. I just used your team recently. I have not used the Jets in a while, and it just came to me that someone's been commenting to use the Jets for a while, so I'm going to be using them. Sorry. Fantasy draft? Yes, please. I'm curious to see if the simulation's going to be insanely slow or not. I have no idea. I don't remember. I know that on the Xbox 360, it was pretty bad, but I don't know if the Xbox One was just... Well, it definitely was not just as bad. That would be impressive, but... If it was pretty slow itself and it just seemed faster because comparatively to the Xbox 360, you know, it didn't take much. Let's have a look here at the top picks. So we have Victor Hedman, Tarasenko, Tyler Sagan, a Tavares, medium franchise, Holtby, medium elite, Jonathan Quick, Drew Doughty, Stamkos, Taves, Weber, Price, and Crosby. No Ovechkin, eh? Holy crap, Duncan Keith, 93 overall. I'm just throwing this out there. I don't know if it really will apply to a lot of players or not, but if they're playing in some other league, it doesn't matter. I'm going by retired from the NHL, just so you know. They don't have to be completely out of hockey. Oh my word, they're not making this easy for me. I was gonna take Zetterberg, but then Hank just popped out of absolutely nowhere. That made this extremely difficult. I also do not miss the... Loud controller. I remember that was one of the reasons I was so excited to get a PlayStation 5 because I'd been using the controller for Rocket League and it was silent compared to this bad boy. My mind has been made up. We are taking Hank. Capitals legend. Oh, all right. Well, conveniently, Zetterberg is still here. So I will go ahead and draft him next. Who's on that 10-year contract? Oh, is Parise. Yo, Wayne Simmons at 88 overall. What a legend. But yeah, I'm taking Hosa. Should I just take Datsuk? I kind of want to. He's 93. The salary might be a bit of a situation, but I'm still tempted. I'm gonna do it. Hansel's contract isn't so bad, so I will be drafting him as our next player. How much cap space do we have? 40 million, okay, so we are getting down there quick, but I'm taking Daniel nonetheless. At 3.3 million, Trevor Daly will be the next selection. Dion Phaneuf and Ryan Callahan, those are two names I have not heard in a long time. 3.8 isn't that bad. Yeah, we'll go with Kunitz. Capitals legend, Joel Ward. He actually is a Capitals legend. I know Henrik Lundqvist unfortunately never got to play a game for the Caps, but Ward sure did. And he is my next selection. We have $23 million left, which is actually concerning. Bergenheim, though, at 84 overall is only making 500k. So that is a for sure take on behalf of the Winnipeg Jets. Christian Ehrhoff. I'm finding a lot of names I haven't seen in a while here, but I do remember pretty much all of these guys on the screen. Yeah, I remember obviously Shane Doan, Ribeiro, Tangay, Wisniewski. There's a lot of players that I remember here, and it is just bringing back some memories. But we will go with Ehrhoff. How many players do we have left? So we need... A total of four forwards, four defense, and a goalie. But can I say no to the man, the myth, the legend? I don't think I can. We'll make it work. I'm taking Yager. That salary isn't so bad, and we do need defensemen, so welcome aboard, Stewart. Kyle Brodziak, 900k. 
will be our final center. All right, I lied. We're also taking Stoll. I don't care if he's a center. One of these guys can play on the wing. They'll live. Haven't looked at goalies in a while. Let's see who we have here. Fast at 84 overall, making 500k. Are the overalls in this game just outrageously high? Well, Victor, I mean, you only played 63 NHL games and you're 84 overall somehow, but I will be selecting you for our backup goaltender. Alexander Semin, the bongos fighter. 1.1, can't go wrong. And then we have three defensemen and about 11 million left. That is very doable. I see some players that have very affordable contracts, so I'm gonna go with the only 85 left on the board. What's our right to left-handed ratio here for defensemen? Where is, it, where is it even displayed on this screen? Oh, found it. Okay, so left-handed, uh-huh. We have a deep need for some right-handed defensemen. We got one here, Zidlicki. Right-handed defenseman, offensive defenseman as well. 82 overall, and he is making 500k. Dan Boyle, another offensive defenseman that is right-handed, and he's making 4.5, which fits into our cap space. That's our final selection. The draft summary, in case you wanted to see it. We also got Rich Peverly and Lapierre there. I also see V. Arvidsson, and I feel like that has to be Victor Arvidsson, which is strange, and I wonder if that's Josh Anderson. We also drafted Finn for the win there at 708th overall. Oh, I'm getting the tutorial and everything. Look at this. Can you turn player morale off in this game? Oh, you can turn off meetings. That's all that matters to me. Meeting notifications? No. We're actually so good. It's insane. If I do best lines, which I already did just to show you, but this is what it gives me. We got a very, very solid offensive team here. And defensively, we ain't too shabby either. I wonder who the youngest player on our team is. I see two at the age of 31, and that might actually be the youngest. Okay, Simmons 31 here as well. Oh! Wait a minute. No, yeah, that is him. He retired, I guess, after the 2018-19 season with the Stars. He only played seven games that year. Wow. So he's going to be the youngest for sure. In net, we got Hank and Victor Fass. So I think we're going to get, I'm going to go bold and say 49 wins. I think we're going to kill it this year. Yeah, for real, this calendar does not even ring a bell either. I genuinely don't recall playing this game. Simulation speeds aren't that bad. I expected it to be worse, honestly, so I'm kind of impressed. Oh, I guess I never did a points prediction, so I'll say Datsu gets the most points with... I don't know how many points people get in this game, you know? I'm not used to it. I'll say Datsu gets 91. Also, newsflash, we are absolutely terrible. Might be a little bit dramatic, considering we're only six games into the season, but one thing I will say about this game is that there is an outrageous amount of notifications. I also just got an achievement, apparently that is linked to my PC somehow. I mean, I guess Microsoft for both of them, and I do have that Xbox app, so that kind of checks out. It was for the 85 chemistry. We're doing all right now, but I don't think it's gonna be the 49 win season that I was expecting. Okay, I take it back. We just went on a big winning streak. We have a chance, I suppose. Datsuk apparently just got named the alternate captain. Oh no. Please tell me they aren't editing my lines. No, it looks fine. What the heck? I don't know why I'm just gonna decide to explain this to you guys now, but the reason I like to stay within the cap in the draft is for three different reasons, actually. One, because it's an extra challenge. Two, because the computers are also going to have to abide by that, so they're gonna be drafting with that, and I don't wanna have the advantage in that sense. And three, it's always cool to see that this could be a real team, you know? This could have existed in that year. What's the trade deadline thing like in this? Can you even do anything, or does it just basically not let you make trades after today? I guess this is probably it right if you advance day it's just gonna yep time to find out if the post trade deadline collapse exists even in nhl 16 49 wins is without a doubt not happening but will we even make the playoffs with this record yeah we should be fine if we get to 45 wins i'll be more confident so just win two of these last three on this california trip here come on never mind we already lost two and we got a w there against the oh my word i was scared i thought it was gonna say you didn't make it how do you view the stats in this ah Maybe it's a thing that says Stat Central, just a guess. Your Winnipeg Jets finished second in the Central Division. We had 96 points, which is good enough for ninth in the league. And the top 16 teams did not make it, actually. St. Louis did at 17, but Pittsburgh got shafted. Calgary won the President's Trophy with 110 points. Can you do that thing here where you kind of view their lines? I don't know how to do it in this game. I can't really figure it out. The only way I could think to do it is to go to the player stats and check them out from here. But let's sort... It doesn't even sort by points by default. What is that? We got 86 from Datsuk. He was the only point a game player. 74 from Yager. We got 72 from Sedin. Zetterberg put up 66. Hosa with 60. And then it dropped off to 45 for Hansel and I will just go to the bottom here 
There you go. How did our goalies do it? For some reason, brought me all the way over there. A 920 for Lundqvist and an 884 for Victor. He did not have a good time. He went 3-9-2, and two, but Lundqvist went 41-22-3. and three. Carey Price had the most wins in the league, or did he? Actually, it's not sorted. Let's find out. He did, but so did Schneider. They both got 44, and Carey Price had a 923. There's also 10 shutouts for Rene down here. That is insane. I see a 934 for Rene. That is absurd, and we got a few 923s. Pavlik put up a 924, a 928 from Tuka. EK65 led defenseman with 76 points, and then the next closest was Mark Strait with 58, and then we had Keith with 57. Dougie Hamilton, the last player to get 50 plus as a defenseman, and then Weber had 48. I'm listening to Spotify as I make this video, and a song from NHL 03 came on. I love that. Ovechkin gets the Art Ross with 98 points, and the Rocket Richard by the looks of it. He went back to Washington. No players broke 100. We got Kopitar with 92. Datsuk was actually third in the league with 86. Holy crap, I didn't expect that. Well, here's Calgary's roster. They had Anze Kopitar, James the Real Deal Neil. They had Patty Marlowe, Kyle Turris, Mark Streit. You see what I see, Jokinen. They had Franz Nielsen. Nikolai Kuhleman, haven't heard that name in a long time either. Seth Jones? 86 overall at the age of 21. Josh Yoris, I believe is how you pronounce it, at 82 overall. They had Jared Spurgeon, 84 overall. Chara, who is a 88 in this game. Was Kiprasov already retired by this time? He probably was, right? I can't remember. But they had Schneider and Ortillo in net, which I'm pretty sure that he just basically went back to them. He was probably still playing for them at this time. Let's find out how the playoffs go. Not a good start, but we bounce back with a big 4 nothing W. Nice. We're up 2-1. If that scout bothers me one more time, I swear on my life. Another win? Oh, we did it! We did it! Next up is the Edmonton Oilers, who swept their first round opponent. So let's sim past these first three games, because obviously no one can win a series in three games. I mean, you kind of can. Whoa! What is going on? I think we just... 3 0. Wow, we. Oh no, they took one there. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Another W for the Jets. 3 2 in overtime. So we could take this series home here early on, and they will live to see another day. Will they push a game seven, though? They will not. Time to take on the Arizona Coyotes in the conference finals. Let's sim past the first three games here. Hopefully we get a pretty good start and not the best. Not the best. We're down 2-1, but it could be worse. We could be down 3-0. Nice. All right, it's 2-2. Basically a best of three now, and that will put us in the lead. 3-2. Will we have a game seven? No, we won't. We are on to the Stanley Cup final. The Carolina Hurricanes are our Stanley Cup final opponent, and we are down 2-1 after three. Hopefully, we can tie it up and make this series a best of three, and we sure will. All right, sim past game number five here, and we get an L. Oh no. How do I sort by just goals? There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and wow, we got scored on already by Bo Bennett. Well, anyway, first period is a 2-0 game. Brad Marchand will put another one in for Carolina. Shots are 10-10. Second period, 3-0. That's not good at all. I'll do the times eight simulation, but we're gonna need something of a miracle here. Five minutes to go. At least don't get shut out. Come on now. Get one goal. Or nah, just ignore me. That's cool too. Ah, they had Carey Price. But of course, I'm still proud of the lads. That was a good run. Ooh, this is interesting. Stanley Cup goes to, wait, hold on. How far do I have to simulate before it announces? There we go. Carolina takes home the Stanley Cup. Yeah, we know. There we go. That looks a little more accurate. President's Trophy went to Calgary. And then obviously we know those two. Individual awards. Art Ross goes to Ovechkin. So does the Hart Memorial. The Norris goes to EK65. Lady Bing goes to Stamkos. The Calder goes to Malcolm Subban for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Carey Price gets the Conn Smythe. Rene gets the Vesna and the Jennings. The Bill Masterton goes to Roman Polak, who returned to the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Selkie goes to Bergeron, because of course it does. Ovechkin gets a Ted Lindsay and the Rocket Richard. Not a bad year for him. Here's the playoff tree. That's how it all went down, if anybody is curious. And yeah, we had a very good run. We made it to the Stanley Cup Finals, but Carolina was just too good. Carey Price shut us out on 35 shots, nonetheless, in Game 6. But that was pretty fun, so thank you guys for the continued suggestions and video ideas. I appreciate you. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I will be seeing you soon.